Now to our top story. Nurses have been called the backbone of the medical profession, but a shortage of nurses has been an ongoing problem since before the pandemic. Georgia is not immune to the problem. In fact, according to data from the Bureau of Health Workforce, the state has one of the lowest nurse to population ratios in the country. There was already a um, decrease in the number of nurses. Um, again, like I said, throughout the state of Georgia, we were one of the states that had a um, higher vacancy rate. Nursing school administrator talking about the problem at the height of the pandemic. Since then, the shortage has only worsened. Georgia has only 10 nurses to every 1,000 people. Experts say that means we are at a crisis level. Well, some WSAV viewers have reached out to share just how the nursing shortage has impacted their hospital stay. We are also hearing from people who work in the profession about the toll all of this is actually having on them. WSAV's Kaylee Fetko is joining us now. She talked to a local doctor about how her workload has become almost unimaginable. Kaylee? Good evening, Tina. That's absolutely right. The doctor I spoke with today says that her workload is not even manageable anymore at this point and that she needs the help now more than ever. Memorial Health telling us that these staffing issues have been exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic, but there are several other root causes, some unique to our area. I think that our staffing situation really reflects the staffing situation across the country. The nationwide nursing shortage is impacting our local hospitals. At Memorial Health, doctors are begging for help. Even in the last few months have been expected to manage anywhere from 8 to 18 patients on a shift. We've had tons of nurses pulling out. We're losing nurses left and right. The reason? The pandemic retirement, and other things that are unique to our area. We have military spouses, right, and they sort of come and go. Um, and so uh, one of the things that we've sort of learned is there's sort of a cycle around when those military deployments happen and when they're leaving. One doctor who wishes to remain anonymous says they need help now more than ever. And not only do I have maternal patients, but I also have patients sick with COVID that are getting ready to be intubated. And I have, you know, patients with a lot of other medical issues that also need care. And it's, it's completely unreasonable to think that we can manage this with one person on at a time. And the hospital says they're on it. So I really understand the strength of that clinical expertise that a licensed practical nurse brings to us. Um, and that's reducing the pressure on RN staffing in the medical surgical general care areas. Um, we are utilizing in uh, particularly in the emergency room. Uh, paramedics have always been useful in the emergency room and utilizing them as a care extender has been very helpful in the emergency room setting. Isbell says they're looking to hire 100 nurses this year to fill the need, hoping to get them in the door as soon as possible. So I, I think we really talk about it more as a moving target and we will always need more nurses. I would say in a hospital this size, we will always need staff. Isbell also says he's strengthening the health system's partnership with Georgia Southern University and other local colleges to help recruit new workers. Reporting live in Savannah, Kaylee Fedko, WSAV News 3 on your side.